Every day I drive to work in my own car. I pay for the gas that goes in it. I pay for the repairs of my car. What I don't understand is how we have so many state employees driving around in state cars and yet we have the crisis that we have with the state. How can you ask taxpayers to pay another penny in taxes when your state government agencies are bloated with managers of managers of managers? For personally for myself, paying that $500 is going to be very difficult. I already at home got rid of cable television. Okay, big deal, it's cable television. My home phone, just a cell phone with the cheapest plan you can get. The cheapest DSL you could possibly buy, which is called dial-up more or less. Um, I cut back everywhere I can. My heat's at 62 when I'm at home, so I wear a coat. At 55 when I go to bed, I take a cold shower, so I'm using less water. I've cut back everywhere. I got $2 in my wallet today. Okay, I have just just a, a couple of ideas that maybe you could help me choose on what I should not should I cut back on next. And really, this is this is serious. Okay, uh, this is this is what I think. I know it's hard to believe. I know it might be hard to believe that it's, that everybody should be able to come up with five hundred dollars, but I think we have already sacrificed for so many years. So my option is look for a part-time job to supplement my income. That would work. The other option is maybe sell my home. That will definitely give me more money, but I won't be a homeowner anymore, which I've worked so hard for. I think the third and best option for everybody in this audience today is you hire us all as state workers.